Hello everyone, today we are going to answer the question, will insulin cause weight gain? I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin, I'm the founder of SugarMDs.com and I have a huge diabetes practice and I get this question every day and here is the answer. Tune in and we'll talk about this in detail. Now, the short answer to the question, will insulin cause weight gain? The answer is more than likely, yes. We have another video about, do I have to be on insulin? You can refer to that video, but if you really have to be on insulin, yes, insulin will more than likely cause weight gain. For some people, it's a good thing because if you're already losing a ton of weight, insulin will stop your weight loss. And that's one of the indications that we use insulin for. And most of, most of the time, I will avoid and do whatever it takes to get you off of the insulin, okay? So nobody wants to be on insulin, but sometimes it's a necessary evil and you have to be on it. Otherwise, there's no way we can stop your weight loss, for example, um, or if you have type 1 diabetes. Now, in your case, if you are on once a day insulin, right, you will probably gain a few pounds. And the problem is, if you are giving too much insulin, right, Sometimes you're giving too little insulin, which you think insulin doesn't work. And sometimes they tell you to keep up going up on your insulin. And then suddenly you know that you're on 100 units of insulin and you're having low blood sugars. You're always hungry. If you have that type of insulin regimen, you will gain a lot of weight. So insulin has to be given specifically tailored to each individual to their specific needs to a specific target and it has to be used safely again insulin is so commonly used everybody prescribes insulin everybody takes insulin and the problem is it is not used correctly so a lot of times people are over treated and other alternative medications are not used and people end up getting gaining weight and that's number one problem that you have to address with your endocrinologist or your diabetes specialist and I hope you have one but if you have a primary care doctor and if they don't answer your questions we are here at sugarmds.com to help you we will give you a free consultation we will give you all the alternatives your questions will be answered you can text or call us at any time now the second time that you will have a tremendous amount of weight gain on insulin is if you're on multiple daily injections of insulin. And again, you will gain more weight if you are, giving too, if you are given too much insulin. Now, how do you get the right amount of insulin? If you have to be on insulin, you have to be on the right amount of insulin. The best way to do it is if you are on a uh, structured regimen where you're actually counting your carbs, you're educated, you're trained, almost like a professional uh, athlete type of training where you know exactly what you're eating, how much you're eating, what is your insulin to carb ratio. Now, a lot of younger people tend to grab that concept very easily. And for older folks, for people who do not want to get too much involved in their diet, and their diet is somewhat similar, we give them a structured, but in a fixed regimen of insulin, where we tell them, you know, this is how much you should be eating, it depends on the person, and you sh as long as you stick with this type of carbs. And we are not trying to put people in the same box, but we are trying to create a consistency. Consistency is important in everything in life, right? If your personality has to be consistent, you cannot just be a nice one minute, crazy next minute. Everybody expect consistency. You're going to work, everybody expect a consistent work quality. You're driving, the police officers expect a consistent quality of driving, good driving skills consistently. The moment you screw up, you can kill somebody, you can kill yourself. So, again, with diabetes, we expect consistency, especially if you're not counting carbs, and that's not difficult to achieve. Now, how do you achieve a professional level of knowledge? That happens when you work with professionals. It is not going to happen when you go to the doctor every three months for them to see you for five minutes and expect to be the best diabetic ever. That is not going to happen. So change your expectations and understand the real world. So people don't become a doctor after one year. They go 10, six years, 10 years of schooling to become a doctor. So that's the expectation. 
that is, if you want to achieve that, that's what you do. With the diabetes care, you don't have to go to diabetes class for 10 years. All you have to do is to stay in touch with your diabetes coach and manage your day-to-day -day operations for at least a couple months to understand the, uh, the effect of your behavior, the effect of your insulin, but that is a very fluid process. So it has to be managed actively 24 seven. That's why we found sugarmds.com where you, we can track you remotely, what you're eating, what your blood sugars are, tell you what to do and what not to do. That way you learn from your mistakes and before you know it, you become a pro. And that's how you prevent, how you prevent the weight gain with insulin. Even if you're a type one diabetic, I have very skinny type one diabetics, I have obese type one diabetics. And, and that is a problem. A lot of type one diabetics are becoming obese nowadays just because they do not know how to use insulin. They have a lot of low blood sugars, a lot of weight gain, and type two diabetes is even worse. Most of the time type two diabetics go on insulin, end up gaining a ton of weight, and that is not fun. Again, we are here to help you. I hope that helps you, this video helps you, and we will see you in the more educational videos. Stay with us.